Hey, this is Irvin Griffin, and welcome to another edition of Grown Man Talk. Much like I did with the Victoria Rael video, I'm focusing briefly on Jasmine Guy, and this more or less popped into my head on a comment that I left on Nicole's Views video about Lisa Bonet talking about Bill Cosby has sinister energy, and she talked about how Lisa Bonet is the tragic mulatto, but she was also quick to say, I know it's not all of them, but you see this quite a bit with biracial people. And you certainly could say, as I show these younger pictures of Jasmine Guy, you certainly could say Jasmine Guy definitely doesn't fall into that category. While she embraces her heritage of being biracial, um, born of a black father and a white mother, I have not ever sensed any of the insecurities that I did with um, Lisa Bonet. As, like I said, we take a look at these younger pictures from her and her heyday. Now, I read uh, somebody else's comment who said, neither one have aged that well. Well, that's true. Then again, most biracial people that I've seen usually don't. But I will say this. I think Jasmine Guy has done a little bit better than uh, Lisa Bonet, quite frankly. And with Jasmine Guy, to put it semi-bluntly, at least with her, I could, prob I could probably be confident that she is taking a shower that day. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, for real. Because let's be honest, Lisa Bonet at times looked like a hippie, but... Jasmine got, unlike Lisa Bonet, who only got popularity because of her cute looks and everything, Jasmine Guy looked good as well, but she also had skills. She was a singer. She's actually an accomplished dancer, particularly in ballet. And you see this picture back in the heyday of her and her different world co-star, uh, Kadeem Hardison, is of course, as Whitley Gilbert and Dwayne Wayne respectively of course by the end of the series the two the two characters had married and were getting ready to have a have a child which in kayfabe turned out to be a son as they went to Japan I never got that sense from um Miss Guy and I had to stop myself because I almost called her Whitley, which that's really been her only problem that I've ever heard her really complain about is that people still call her Whitley when that's not her name. And and that's totally understandable because that isn't her name. That was the only name of the character she played. And this is them in recent years. This is the two in recent years. And quite frankly, Jasmine Guy, to me, has aged gracefully compared to Lisa Bonet and on a side note with Kadeem Hardison other than a little weight he's actually looks about the same <laughs> all, in all honesty he actually looks about the same so both of these guys have not aged terribly I mean but getting back to Jasmine Guy she seemed to be more in fact I think she also teaches dance to inner city kids the majority of which are black and let me say she definitely she definitely has embraced her side of course now we see a picture here with her um, young daughter from her um, previous marriage who's now a teen almost an adult if not an adult already. And this and this girl decidedly looks black. So she definitely doesn't shy away from that half. Um and doesn't seem to have any insecurities about it. I'll wrap this up by saying Jasmine Guy is definitely the opposite of Lisa Bonet. Both of these, both of those women 
were born biracial and yet I don't see or sense the insecurities that Lisa Bonet seem, seems to have and quite frankly on a side note as a fan of a different world was it just me or did the show actually get better after Lisa Bonet left so while most people thought that the show wouldn't last after she left in reality it was almost a blessing in disguise that she left because after Debbie Allen came in and took over and and um, put more emphasis on some of the other characters, which Dwayne and Whitley already had their share of fans even in season one. But then after she put the focus on them, it seemed like the show got better. And honestly, on a side note, I think the show could have gone on had NBC not canceled it. It could have gone on even after those characters left. Because they were already setting up Jada Pinkett Smith. If you recall, that was one of her first start starring vehicles. I think that show could have easily went on. Well past um, Dwayne, Whitley, and the older characters. But in any case, just want to just want to spotlight a little bit on Jasmine Guy. And I'll finish it off by saying I don't see her throwing Bill Cosby under the bus. Besides, I think she got her own life to worry about. In any case, for Grown Man Talk, I'm Irvin Griffin.